21 years ago, six pounds and nine ounces, a little baby Emma was born in this hospital just behind me. Although it's not a maternity ward anymore, it's where you started your life. And as you're about to see, all your friends, family, and closest people who know you have all left you a very special 21st birthday message. So Emma Robinson, this is your life. I was left to my own. I am, uh, as you can tell from having Miffy and Kiwi, I'm up at Nanny Brow in the Lake District, which is where you've spent the last four years of your life. And in those short years, I know you've made some fantastic friends and you've had a fantastic time up here, as you're about to see from some of the friends and family that have left you your messages. So I just want to say, happy 21st birthday, babe. I absolutely love you to pieces and I hope you love your surprise 21st birthday. So from myself, Kiwi and Miffy. Whee! Happy birthday! Surprise! Congratulations on your 21st birthday, Emma. And um, we're sorry you couldn't eat with us tonight, but I'm sure you're, you're going to enjoy tonight even more. <laughs> and next time you can come and see us. Have a great birthday. Happy 21st. Hello, Emma. Uh, we're here to wish wish you a very happy 21st birthday and uh, a long and happy life. You've now got uh, the key of the door. Uh, and our minds go back to when you were little and gave us much amusement to watch you playing with the pots and pans, making music and the great times you used to have up at Lime Park in the Adventure Playground and down at, at Bramall Park feeding the ducks. Oh, many happy days and I hope you enjoy your party and have a great life together with John. Hi Emma, happy 21st birthday. I hope uh, we haven't shocked you too much with this surprise party. Uh, John's done an excellent job as he always does. Um, it's an exciting year ahead for you and John and I'm really pleased to be part of it and I hope that your life with John won't stray too far away. It's great knowing you, you're a smashing lass and I hope everything goes well for you over the next few years. All the best. Hello Emma. I think of all the happy holidays we had with you when you were quite young. I remember staying at Puerto Palenza. Mum and Dad took out a large pedalo and we all drifted out to sea where you decided to swim. You were like a fish among the shoals of little fishes which tickled your feet. We had a lovely holiday with many happy memories and now I wish you every happiness for the coming years. Happy 21st birthday. Lots of love, Graham. Hi Emma, it's Dave here. Emma, I first met you when you were 18 and now you're coming 21 and you've grown into a gorgeous young lady and John's a very lucky man. Happy birthday, Emma. Happy birthday, Emma! Hi Emma, uh, happy 21st to start with. Obviously Lou's not with me because I'm working, roped into working on the, uh, on the job. Uh, but uh, happy birthday wishes. And I think the best, one of the best times for me is uh, at Christmas when we were sledging uh, just outside that window and down the hill having a good laugh and a good afternoon. Well, uh, Lou sends all the love and I'm sure on the day she'll be there giving you hugs and kisses. Hi 
Oh, sorry, I may have caught me dozing off there, which is uh, what I heard you used to do a lot of when you uh, attended the Queen Catherine School at Sixth Form. Uh, carried on with my journey up north for your 21st birthday celebrations, and I've had a chance to catch up with a few more friends and a person who remembers you very well from this very school. Happy birthday, Emma. Uh, can you remember the time that we uh, got all a bit nudie on New Road, showing them policemen what we what we had after the ball? Anyway, hope you have a fantastic 21st birthday and celebrating style. Mwah. Hi Emma, happy birthday. I hope you've had a great day. I'm sorry that I couldn't be there to share it with you. Just here wishing you all the best for your upcoming wedding, for the rest of your university degree and for the rest of 2013 and the future. Hopefully see you very soon. Lots of love. Hi Emma. Happy birthday. Difficult to imagine you're 21. I always remember you joining us and going to Kirby Kendall first of all, which you then realised was a big error, and you came to us. It was a real plus for us to have you here. And uh, Probably my strongest memory is not a good one for you, but the way you coped so well at the ball when someone was unfortunately ill on your gown. Many happy returns. Bring me sunshine. Hi Emma, as you can tell I'm in Morecambe with Mr Eric Morecambe himself, uh, synonymous for when we did the John O'Groats to Land's End as it was one of our stopping points, but also it's where my family are from and where I grew up and uh, as you're about to see they had some very nice things to say about you. Happy birthday, sorry I'm dressed like this but John's come and caught me at work. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Happy birthday Emma, I hope you like your surprise. I hope you realise I've been dragged out of bed for this, you know, girl. Anyway, have a good 21st. And um, don't drink too much. I'm only joking, Emma. Ignore him. Anyway, have a good time, lass, OK? And uh, I tell you what, concentrate on your last year at uni. And I hope you do well. And i will be glad to have you as a daughter-in-law in my family. I'll be glad to have a new sister. Okay, lass. All the best. Bye. Bye. I can go back to bed now. <laughs> Although you moved houses several times while living on the south coast, your first real move came when you moved to the Cotswolds, and in particular, Westwood, the building behind me, which is where you spent most of your teenage years. I know for a fact you had a fantastic time and you made some great friends, and it's also where you started Big School. And also, you met the most amazing person that you're ever likely going to meet. That's right, I wish it was me, but it was Miffy. But anyway, I know for a fact that you've made a lot of friends around here, and here's what they had to say. Hi Emma, Gary here as you can see. Sorry John's caught me on the off because I haven't had a shave or anything like that, but, you know, rougher the better really, you know that with John. Uh, so, all I want to say is, first time I met you, you were about... 15 I think when your mum bought this sorry sore looking 15 year old with a sore neck into the room looking very sorry and bedraggled and I've known you then so obviously I must have been doing something right because now you haven't got a sore neck you've just got a sore jaw which is obviously comes down to too much speaking and not being able to shut yourself up so anyhow all I'm going to say is have a great day have a drink on me and I'll uh, I'll catch up with you too soon. We'd, I'll catch up with you shortly. Happy birthday, Emma. I hope that you've had a lovely time and that you enjoy the surprise that John's throwing for you and that you have a great time celebrating with your friends. Um, it's incredible to see how far you've come from when I've known you since primary school to now being 21, you're engaged, you're going to be married soon. We, we've all had good memories, as John's just been told, of how we went to Pete's Bramley's party. Don't know if you quite remember. But I got severely paralytic, fell into a fire, and then got dragged down the road by Pete's mum. My finest moments. But no, I hope you had enjoyed your life and that you've enjoyed your time with John now. So all the best and good luck for the future. Happy birthday, Emma. Happy birthday. <laughs> I hope that you have an amazing day and you get spoilt rotten. Really looking forward to your wedding next year. You're going to be a beautiful bride. Uh, we just sat here with John. We just had dinner. And I hope you're a damn sight better cook than he is. Um, and I just want to say absolutely happy first 21st. Um, I do remember the first time that I ever met you. It was a uh, you know, day after coming from long days work, work uh, to find you and John in my living room uh, in a bit of a provocative position. And I'm sure there'll be many of those uh, in the near future. And uh, good luck with that one. But have a fantastic day. 
Uh, 21, what a great age, uh, and you've got many good times ahead of you. So, um, happy 21st. Happy birthday. <laughs> Wicked. I think... Uh, oh, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> I know. I don't know that. <laughs> we were just talking about the stag do. The stag do? What, all those strippers we've got for you? Ah, joking! <laughs> Hey Emma, happy birthday. Sorry I couldn't be here. Um, I can't wait for you to come home and be here and we can start riding again and have some fun. See you soon, lots of love. Happy birthday Emma, hope you have a lovely 21st. Sorry I can't be there for the party but I'm sure you will have a fabulous time. Um, I can't believe I've known you since you were about 13 and hopefully I shall know you for at least another 21 years with at least three more children to follow. Um, I'm sure you and John will have a brilliant time and enjoy your birthday. Hi Ems, uh, happy birthday, hope you're having a lovely day. Um, John told me to uh, think of a funny story, so the only story I could think of was uh, the time that you beat me at tennis. Um, you still owe me a game, um, I look forward to you letting me know when you would like to play that game. Um, I owe you a drink as it's your birthday, um, lots of love. And kisses. Woo! Happy birthday, Emma! Wow, 21, that's really old. I hope you're having a really good surprise birthday. This year's gonna be really big for you getting married. And I remember us sat in this room, we were talking about you looking at rings and things and maybe getting engaged. And then I remember one day we went down to the football club and it was like a few days before you we went to Lanzarote. And John was being really unsubtle about wedding things and talking about rings on fingers and other people getting married and we were just like sniggering, thinking about you getting engaged. And that's how I know that when you came to my door a few days after you got back, I just had to look at your fingers because there was definitely going to be a nice ring on that. And so I'm really happy for you and I can't wait for your wedding. It's going to be amazing, but I hope you're enjoying today. And yeah, happy birthday! Woo! Well, this place behind me needs no second introduction, as I'm sure you recognise it from the many hours you spent down here as a teenager. Your love of animals, especially horses, was apparent to see for all. And I even heard you became quite good at it. But it wasn't just myself who found out how much of a great horse rider you were. It was apparent for all those who you knew in the Cotswolds. Happy 21st, Emma. I still can't believe you're 21 already. It seems no time since you first came to Westwood. And then you bought Miffy off me. Then you had Maisie off me and I helped you break Maisie. Then, unfortunately, you had to leave. It was very, very... It's never been the same here without you. But all the best for the future, and have a wonderful day. So she's doing all right then? She's doing very, very well. And she usually whinnies to me, speaks to me when I go across the stable, bangs the gate with her foot. <laughs> and I can't come out the, out the back door, and if the dogs start barking, you can hear her whinnying, because she knows I'm going across there. <laughs> I'm stood in front of Cranbourne House in the Cotswolds. Not to be confused with Cranbourne House on the south coast, Cranbourne House in the Cotswolds. Confused? You have led a very well-travelled life, Emma. One thing I haven't forgotten is about your travels and life in Preston for the last three years at university. All your friends and housemates have had some lovely things to say about you. I just couldn't run the risk of doing an introduction there and this video being unearthed. You are infectious. And whether it was growing up on the south coast, moving up to the Lake District, back to Preston, or even across to America, everyone seems to love Emma Robinson. Just before I go, one bit of film continuity for you as I make this video, which I know you love. 10 points if you can realize what isn't the same throughout the whole video. Anyway, enjoy. One, two. Happy birthday! Hope you have the best 21st birthday. Hope you get spoiled <laughs> rotten. <laughs> you just taking it. What did I have to say? <laughs> Jen? What was I saying? Hope you have a fabulous day. Oh, right, I thought that's what you said. I hope you have a fabulous day. Is that alright? So shall I take two? Yeah, take two. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs>
Great, can't again. Sorry. <laughs> Fine, again. Happy birthday! Hope you have the best birthday, Emma. Hope you have an amazing time. I hope you get to play at Rotten. And we love you lots and lots. Boop, boop. <laughs> Happy 21st birthday, birthday Emma. Um, I hope you have a really good day. I'm so sorry we can't be there. I wish we could be there. Um, but bless your boyfriend, your fiance, John, has done this for you. So I'm glad we could be part of it. Um, can't believe how long we've known each other. I'm so glad that we've actually had a chance to get to know each other and that our dads did meet at uni. Um, not that they keep in touch, but hopefully one day they will meet again. So... Um, the other things about the horses, like we shared all that with the horses and when you were living in the Cotswolds um, we both had that in like common interest which was really nice to share with you. Um, maybe one day we can do that again when we both get horses. So, um, But keep in touch and I hope you have a really good party and we'll hopefully see you soon. So happy birthday. Is there a birthday? Say bye bye. Bye bye. You say bye bye. Bye bye. There Yay. we go. Hi Emma. We'd just like to wish you a really happy 21st birthday. It's from us guys down in Lanzarote, from Paul, Borghild and baby Jonathan. Uh, we hope you have a really, really great time and I have to tell you something. Don't tell John. You surf so much better than he does, okay? Have a great time and hopefully we'll see you in the future. Hi Emma, you probably don't remember me so well. But my name is Michaela. I was your au pair when you were six. Um, I have so many delightful memories of you as a very small girl. Um, one of my favourite ones is there was a period where I'd pick you guys up after school. Um, you'd be playing at a friend's house um, and every single day I'd literally have to drag you home because you were too tired, your legs wouldn't work. Um, I'd have to piggyback you most days. Um, unless it was raining, in which case you ran around like crazy, jumping in puddles, um, in no hurry to get home whatsoever, and I'd have to explain to your mother why I brought you home absolutely dripping wet. Happy birthday to you, you're 21, woohoo! And I just wanted to tell you that because I wish so bad that I could be there to celebrate with you, but we are far, far away <laughs> from each other, unfortunately. And I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're enjoying your time at uni and enjoying your time with John as well. So excited for you guys to get married. So I wish you all the best and good luck with everything. You should probably come back here. Yeah. I've decided you need to do another internship, like, for the winter. I hope you guys are having fun. And, like I said, blame John. Glad you liked your card and your earrings. And I miss you, and Marley misses you too. We love you. Bye! So, Emma, as you can probably tell from the sign just behind me, this is Moonrakers, and this was your last house in East Preston before you moved up to the Cotswolds. And from what I've heard, you've had many fun memories inside this house as well, from all your friends and families that have told me their various stories. I've uh, had a good chance to catch up with a few of those, and here's what they had to say. Hi Emma, happy birthday darling. 21, big girl now. Little girl, I seem to remember when you moved into the original Moonrakers, and I'm sure you must remember when we had the demolition party, with all the kids writing all over the walls, and drawing everywhere, all ready for it to be knocked down by the lovely Mr Giles Blunt. And I seem to remember a Christmas moving in with a Harry Potter scene down in the hallway. We're sorry we can't be with you. We wish you well, happiness in everything you do and success and be happy. Just be happy. We love you lots. Bye. Sorry we can't be with you, Oscar style. We're in Wales, hopefully not being blown off the cliff. So here's our birthday message. Obviously, we've known you for years. We've enjoyed lovely occasions at your house and you equally at ours. I'm sure that whatever you decide to do with your future will be fantastic. I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely evening and we wish you a happy birthday and we're going to try and do it in synchro <laughs> after three. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Emma. <laughs> Are you waving, Bethany? No. Happy birthday, see you soon. So Emma, you probably recognise the place behind me, Cranbourne House. 
Um, synonymous with you growing up, you obviously went to nursery at West Preston Manor while living here and then you went to Our Lady of Sion for your junior school. So you've had many memories from what I've heard from all your friends and family again. Again I've been devious and you know I've been devious about all this travelling and I've uh, had a chance to catch up with a few more friends and family uh, while you lived at Cranbourne House. So here's what they had to say about you. Emma, I can't believe that I'm making this little video to uh, congratulate you on your 21st birthday. I remember when you lived next door to us here in, in Rustington and uh, you were such a little one then and uh, we had some delightful times. Anyway, my love, I hope you have a wonderful birthday and much love to you also from Samantha and Elaine. Hello, Emma. This is Rage and Pam wishing you a very, very happy, happy 21st, 21st birthday. birthday and hope you enjoy yourself. I'm sure uh, you'll have a lovely party. Oh, you must no. be. I've just met your fellow. He's nice. And uh, <laughs> don't drink too much. <laughs> but I don't know if you remember, a long time ago, uh, Christmas, I used to bring the, the hyacinths up for your mother and you for Christmas, and then you uh, said, I'll them. take them. Put them and, over. and what did you do? You fell over and dropped the lot. Uh, mess all, <laughs> all over the floor. The floor. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Emma. Emma. Hope you have a good day. I always remember um, when we were running down the street and I fell over and you were in front and sprained your ankle but didn't realise for ages. And what happened to Sue's car? Got blood everywhere. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> Happy birthday, Emma. Have a lovely day. Well, Emma, I'm not sure if you recognise the building behind me, but it used to be your nursery at West Preston Manor. I know it's changed quite a lot, but the memories definitely live on, and um, I've been told a few of those by a certain individual who remembers you very well, actually, and uh, has told me about the little terror that you used to be. Well, Emma, it's a long time since we were together, but what happy, happy days. Memories for you and great memories for me. You were a little lovely girl when you first came, and I hope that you did have a happy time at school. Uh, we always, always tried uh, to bring out the best in every child and give them a good start for the future. So Emma, all I can do is to say to you, have a wonderful life, Emma. You deserve it, you've worked hard and now you've come through your university years. Enjoy your wedding uh, to John and um, also uh, your trip round the world. I do, in a way, have a green, envious eye uh, because you're in for a wonderful time. Uh, just take care, Emma, and lots of love for your future life. Well, Emma, this is your first ever house, May's Cottage, just behind me. And from when you were a little nipper from the hospital up until 1994, this is where you first called home. Hi, Em. How are you? You know, it doesn't seem a long time ago since you were, ooh, this big, and now you're 21. And I thought, what a great opportunity to tell a few stories. I mean, I can remember the time when we brought you back from the hospital to May's Cottage, and, oh, I remember now, because I was told under no circumstances am I going to be able to tell embarrassing baby stories. We're going to leave those for your mum instead. So I thought, why not take the opportunity at a time like this to impart some pithy, maybe a little bit edgy dad advice. You know the sort of thing. And then I thought, well, no, maybe not. Because he'd just be wasting time. Because I know and you know that you take absolutely no notice at all. So instead, I've just finished with a couple of words. And... Uh, and maybe just a little bit of advice. And I think that really is something along the lines of believe in what you do, do what you believe in, be true to yourself, work hard, have fun, and remember, I love you loads. Bye-bye.
Well, here we are again. Under John's influence, I've lied, I've schemed, and I've tricked you. But all in the best possible taste, Emma, because today it's your 21st birthday celebrations. This has been one of the most difficult of your surprises to organise. Your trip to Disneyland Paris for your 18th, your engagement had nothing on this. We have had to pull off the ultimate of surprises for you so that you didn't know anything about today. So, turning the clock back 21 years, a very young Sue and Pete, ha ha, I know, were at Shoreham Hospital in West Sussex. The day staff had, had told Pete to go as nothing was happening. When the night staff arrived, I kept saying that you were coming, but they thought better of it. In the end, your father broke the land speed record from East Preston to Shoreham and managed to get to the hospital in 25 minutes, usually a three quarters of an hour journey. He arrived just in the nick of time. Even the midwife didn't get time to get her gloves on as you were in such a hurry to enter the world. So around 11.30pm on the 20th of the 10th, 1992, baby Robinson entered the world. So for 21 years, we have been on the most amazing journey with you. There have been wonderful times and difficult times. You hated going to bed, even as a two-year-old, and the terrible twos had nothing on you. I can remember my mother saying to me, what goes around comes around, like mother, like daughter. And all I can say to you, Emma, is that when, in, when you and John are blessed with children, that I'm going to say exactly the same to you. Our adventures with the horses, Melody, Jasmine and Maisie in the Cotswolds brought us so close and I will never forget those special memories. Our move to Cumbria in 2009 cemented our relationship and made the bond between us even stronger. We had to rely on each other while Dad was working in China. The evenings we snuggled up in bed together with hot water bottles, gloves and hats on to keep warm and watch the telly. Immediately before our move to Cumbria, you met someone and I knew this guy was special. Well, he had to be to put up with the Robinsons. Not only did I see you grow into a beautiful, confident, caring daughter, but I also witnessed your relationship with John blossom and grow and I am so looking forward to John being an official member of the family next year. Well, my beautiful daughter, I wish you lots of happiness with your life, with your degree, next year with your marriage to John and in everything that you do. You are my love, my life, you are my best friend and I love you so much. Happy 21st Emma. Uh -oh.